craziness and Chuck E. Cheese. We're safe in our car. Holy crap! It's a sign right there. Holy crap! Gun here, and if that doesn't look like Armageddon, seriously, I don't know what does. But what we were just looking at is the current situation in Boulder, Colorado, where they are currently experiencing winds of up to 110 miles per hour that are fueling a few brush fires and just turning this into a whole catastrophic, crazy, end of the world level looking event. Now, the police and local authorities have issued a reverse 911 call urging everyone in the area to evacuate. And as you can see from the video, they were literally evacuating people out of a Home Depot and several other stores right into the middle of this madness. Now, I'm, I'm from the South, all right? I'm used to hurricane force winds, okay? They're dangerous, I get it, but I'm used to it. Hurricane force winds that are carrying literal flames and just setting things on fire, 
You know, hurricane force winds that are also just pushing smoke directly into your lungs. I'm not used to that. Okay. I'm not used to that. I don't know what the safety protocols are. But I'll be damned if I'm in a big warehouse, you know, Home Depot, if y'all are going to just make me walk out here into that crap. No, I'm, I think maybe I'll take my chances in here. Seeing as if I go out there, it's hellfire and brimstone, and I'll likely just spontaneously combust into flames. I'm going to stay my ass right here inside of Home Depot until this, you know, blows over. Because, I mean, I don't know, I, how does leaving the store help? So basically, you evacuated all of these people out of your totally super safe, huge building and into their cars to go drive and smoke. They can't even see. And you literally see people's cars are catching on fire and stuff. Like, what in the hell? This is just total madness. It's total madness. Um, I'm not sure the level of devastation that's going on here. I'm hoping it's just going to be a lot of, you know, random grass on fire. You know, this is what it was described as, as a grass fire, a brush fire if you will, but I'm hoping that we're not going to have, you know, any fatalities from this or anything crazy, but what I'm seeing just from these videos, and I, there's, you know, a lot more out there, there's so many people still on the road through this. There's so many people, this wasn't the only store to evacuate everyone inside. I'm sure all of these random stores are evacuating the people, but you're just expecting people to go get in their cars and ride down the street. They can't see anything. You know, how many wrecks is there going to be? I just... It just looks like a recipe for pure disaster because I don't understand, you know, once you get these people out of the store, what do you expect them to do? You expect them to just get in their car and hopefully they're safe in their car. Do you expect them to drive to safety even though they can't see? And, you know, the streets are literally on fire and some, I just, I don't know. But I will be following this situation closely. If any of you are in the area and you have more information, Feel free to share it with everyone down in the comments below, or you can hit me up as well. But yeah, it's just, it's a scary situation right now. And it's this, as we speak, it's currently still going down. So we don't know the severity of everything yet. But once I get more information, you know, I will bring it to you all. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Bring that notification bell. Go to the description of this video. I will have a link to my cash app if you would like to support the channel. You know, it goes a long way. I will also have a link to my other YouTube channel. Go subscribe over there. And a link to my Twitter, you can follow me over there. But as always, find some time out of your day to avoid brush fire hurricanes.